Hi, and welcome to another episode of Essential Lightroom. In this week's video, we're going to be jumping into Photoshop and taking a look at how we can deal with haze in our images. Now, we've taken a look at doing this in Lightroom, and Lightroom gives us an easy control for dealing with haze in images. And Photoshop has all of the same controls, they just happen to be hidden away. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use them and how we can deal with haze in your images. So this is the image we're going to be working with. It's in a shot that I took up in North Wales recently. And as you can see, there's some exposure problems on there. But we've got the big issue of the fact that as we go further into the image and we've got the mist and the haze, it's kind of losing the definition in the mountain ranges. So I want to bring that back. Now, like I say, we've dealt with this in Lightroom, and I'll link that in the description below so you can take a look at that. But for this, we're going to take a look at doing it in Photoshop. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to the Filter menu, and we're going to come down. We're going to choose Camera Raw Filter. Or we could use the keyboard shortcut of Shift, Control, and A or Shift, Command A on a Mac. So let's open that up, and that'll bring up the Raw Editor. Now, the Raw Editor and Lightroom's editing tools are fundamentally the same tools. The only thing that's really different is the fact that Lightroom has a lot more cataloging options and a range of different other things, but the fundamental core of the editing is all done with the same tools. So as you can see, we've got the normal basic panel open in front of us, and we've got a series of tabs, and we can flick through those. And we've got things like the tone curve, and we've got the sharpening and detail and noise reduction and so on. But what we're interested in is the effects tab. We click on that, you can see that brings up the option, and right at the top, we've now got the dehaze tool. Now, this is pretty straightforward. We can either increase the amount of haze or decrease the amount of haze. So simply, if we drag this over to the right-hand side, keep an eye on the mountain ranges as you get through the image, and you'll see it'll start to bring that detail back in, and you can see we start to really increase the tonal information in there and bring out the detail in those mountains, something we were losing with the haze. So you can use that if we take it to the left hand side, we generally bring in a lot more haze. We make it look like it's a very misty looking image now, like we shot this in the fog. So I'm sure there's reasons for using that, but we're looking to deal with the haze, not bring more into it. So let's bring that over. Let's take that up to about plus 50, somewhere in that kind of region. That's going to bring back a lot of the detail in that mountain range. So you can see we're now really getting some punch and contrast in there. Now obviously there's a few other things we need to deal with. It looks like we're blown out in the sky and we're a little bit dull and flat, but we've dealt with that haze. So we just jump back over to the basics panel. We can just take the exposure if we want to. We can just take that up about a half a stop, third of a stop to half a stop to bring back some light into that main area. And we can deal with the highlights quite easily. We can just literally drag that over. You can see all the detail is still in there because we've shot this in RAW, so we've got a lot more information than you might think. We can drag those highlights back, making sure we keep all that information, bring the whites back, and you can see all the, the sort of tonal information is still in there. We can use the clarity then to sort of bump some contrast up in there. Now what you're finding is when you use the dehaze function and when you use the clarity function, it increases the contrast in the image globally. So you may find that you want to sort of open the blacks or the shadows up a little bit to just take the image and reduce some of that excessive contrast which can kind of just overpower the image. And there we go. So let's just say, let's click OK on that. And that's what we've ended up with. So you can see the haze is dealt with in the mountains. We brought back the detail in the sky. A lot more we could do with this, but we've dealt with that haze very quickly and very easily using Photoshop as opposed to Lightroom. And that's it. That's all there is to dealing with haze and use the dehaze function inside Photoshop. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add every single week. If you have any questions or comments on this video or anything else covered on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. Until next time, take care.